Well, it's time for duty in Djibouti. It's time for duty in Djibouti. It's time for duty in Djibouti. Doop, 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 duty in Djibouti. Welcome to this week's edition of Duty in Djibouti. I'm Staff Sergeant Andrew Kea with Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa Public Affairs. Up first, Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa Religious Affairs Office visits with service members at Ford Operating Location, Kaseni, Uganda. Staff Sergeant Ashley Siddith has more. Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa, U.S. Navy Chaplain Gary Hutchinson and Religious Program Specialist Chief Petty Officer Sherry Chisholm traveled from Camp Lemonier, Djibouti to Fort Operating Location, Kassini, Uganda to visit with U.S. service members. Right now we're at the FOL for uh, Uganda. Uh, they have about five permit, permit personnel here and they haven't seen a chaplain for a while so one of our responsibilities is to come down here and ensure that they're taken care of. You know. I hear Corporal Tiffany Kim said she was happy the chaplain staff traveled so far to visit with the members at FOL Kassini. It is pretty cool that the chaplain came all the way down here for us. It makes it special and everybody gets together so it's a good time. The chaplain staff did more than just leave Sunday service. Right now we're playing seesaw with the, the kids at the orphanage, and she has a lot of energy. We're out here to support the, the community and the culture, and one of the way we do that is through community uh, relation projects that help build uh, relationships with the Africans here. So one of the things we'll be doing is going to baby orphanage to see babies. The chaplain staff visits FOL Cassini and other camps downrange every three months to ensure that troops downrange are getting the counseling and spiritual support they need. Reporting from Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa Public Affairs. I'm Staff Sergeant Ashley Sidida. Up next, we'll show you what else is happening around the Horn of Africa. Technical Sergeant Ryan Labadens has more. U.S. personnel from Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa, Camp Lemonade, Djibouti, provided a tour of United States Navy ship called Bashir to multinational coalition officers at the Port of Djibouti on May 9th. The ship is named in honor of Master Chief Petty Officer Carl Brashear, the first African-American master diver and first Navy diver to be restored to full active duty service as an amputee. U.S. personnel provided the tour to give their coalition partners a better understanding of U.S. Navy operations. The multinational coalition officers work alongside their U.S. counterparts at Camp Lemonye to enhance relationships with their international partners and East African nations. Reporting from Combined Joint Task Force, Horn of Africa, I'm Tech Sergeant Ryan Labadens. That's it for this week's edition of Duty in Djibouti. We'll see you next week. For Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa Public Affairs, I'm Staff Sergeant Andrew Kea.